Tonight, the miraculous recovery of a Sikh priest nearly killed in the Oak Creek mass shooting. In their first TV interview since his remarkable progress, the family of Punjab Singh sat down with 12 News' Christina Palladino. Okay. Ragwinder Singh tells 12 News his father Punjab is getting stronger every day, almost six months after being critically injured in the Sikh temple tragedy. I believe on miracles, I believe on prayers, and I know that thousands of people are still praying for him, and it would be happen. Yeah. yeah. The 65-year-old had only been in Oak Creek a few days before the August shooting. He was visiting from India, where he's a highly respected priest in the Sikh community. Singh was shot in the face, and the bullet traveled through his brain, severely damaging his spinal cord. After months of treatment, he's now showing small but astonishing signs of progress. The last few weeks, uh, he's so awake, and he opened his eyes. He tracked on us. He tracked like uh, right to left and left to right and he watch us and when we enter the room he watch us and when we go to the other side then he track all the way on the other side and I think this is a very big, very big progress. Punjab's family has had to temporarily relocate to Wisconsin from India so they can be by his bedside every day during his recovery. They say everyone here at the Sikh temple and in Oak Creek has been both gracious and supportive during this difficult time. And it's that warmth from the community that has helped Ragmander and his family get through some very tough nights, fearing their father wouldn't survive. But after and seeing sister, him smile this week, the their faith has been restored. India. I will never lose my hope. So he will walk. He will do everything, like, you know, with the, with the power of prayers. In Oak Creek, Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News. Ragvinder's brother and mother have all relocated to Oak Creek from India temporarily to care for Punjab. There is no timeline for the 65-year-old's prognosis, but his son told Christina he seems to respond especially well to music therapy.